Hey guys, it's Hex18. How's it going? In this video, I'm going to be showing you a, a penetration testing distribution of Linux uh, based on Ubuntu Lucid uh, 10.04 uh, LTS. So it's a little bit um, back um, when it was 10.04 Ubuntu version but it's some, definitely something to look at here. Um, Backbox is a penetration testing distribution just like Backtrack and it's actually I think is much faster so those who are looking for an alternative this is definitely something to look at. So what is black, the Backbox? It's the Linux distribution like I said based on the Ubuntu Lucid 10.04 LTS and it does penetration testing and security assessments. It's fast and easy to use, and it has a complete desktop environment for you to work with. and also has its own tools with it, too. So they have a, a community that you can join, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you um, want to go th to. And then you, got, um, you can get support with RSS feeds. And you can download a 32-bit or even a 64-bit. Now, before, when I found this before, it, the Backtrack series does not have a 64-bit just yet. I know they are working on one right now. Uh, Backtrack 5 is actually going to have a 32-bit and a 64-bit uh, version. But um, if you go to the, um, I believe it's the the Backbox, the Backbox.org site, and if you go here, um, if you can see it here, it should say backbox.org right here. Um, this is all to, new to me for the zooming in and out. I've never done any of this so because I'm on the Mac now. But um, just go to their site, download it, check it out. And um, I have it up in a VMware, actually, VMware Fusion uh, for you guys to check out. So when you first launch this, it's going to give you a menu here and it's going to say uh, USA uh, try the back box without install. I press enter here. It's going to load. Now when I was running this in VirtualBox, it did crash a little bit like it wasn't like working with the, my touchpad and some other like my mouse and stuff so um, I think the virtual box needs a little bit of work on with the Mac version uh, the VMware hasn't caused me any problems yet so um, hopefully this will work I haven't you know gave it a try here in the VMware I just now install or just running it from the disk right now so but it shouldn't take too long. I have it running off my single core or the uh, one one processor to uh, the 2.0 gigahertz, yeah. The Intel, pro Intel i7. And then it has the uh, one gig of RAM DDR3 right now for the uh, VMware. <clears throat> Okay, here we are, finally. About time. <laughs> Any time now. I probably installed it first. Okay, here we are. Um, yeah, the back box interface is as a background and everything, you know, picks up whatever. I'm not sure why it has a floppy drive there. Um, but I guess if just in case you have one, it's running off the XFCE desktop environment. So I believe it's the number four version four I can't remember but it has its uh yeah it's 
kind of outdated, like I said, 2010, but I'm sure they're going to keep up with it. Just not quite sure. i just been wanting to show you guys what this is and what it has in here, but it has a lot of pretty good, um, just some, um, uh, you know, basics, uh, stuff in here that you could use for what you need to use, you know, your password cracking, sniffing, and spoofing, stuff like that, you know, um, even, you know, the set is in here, your, vern your vulnerability scanners, exploiting with, uh, Metasploit, etc., so, that's what Backbox has, is just more lighter, faster to use, because it's using XFCE, and, you know, you got your Firefox and, you know, everything else you need to work with, just what you need to do. Uh, you can right-click, open a terminal, you know, it's all right there. So, um, I'm not sure if they have their own folder here. Um, I'm sure they do, like, a penetration testing folder, like they do on uh, the Backtrack series. Anyways... You guys go ahead and try it out. I will give you the guys the link in the description. Go ahead and try out 32-bit or 64-bit. Let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys later, okay?